Hi everyone, it's Frank Walters here, and today I want to show you how you can capture real true atmosphere in a painting. Um, this is the windmill in a place called Cly, which is on the north coast of Norfolk here in the UK. Quite an iconic building. I, I'm, uh, I'm using a soft um, 4B pencil. I'm, I'm, this painting will be on the £140 uh, Saunders Waterford. Um, and now that I've finished the drawing, I'm going to throw in the first light wash. Invariably, I use raw sienna, just chucking in a few other strong, warm accents of red. I'm now going into the sky, um, getting a bit of a moody sky going, some bit, bit of cloud, blue sky, but also throwing in a little bit of sepia. I want some nice dark, a bit of a storm cloud behind um, that uh, white top of the windmill. I want to paint that in the negative, so it's very important that I get this bit right, right at the very beginning. It will really help the atmosphere of the painting. I want to keep it nice and loose as well. I really don't want to get too much detail going. It's one of the issues that a lot of people have when they start watercolor painting. They try and throw in the kitchen sink we don't want to see the kitchen sink, we just want to have a nice, easy-going feel towards this painting. So I'm knocking in the, the rooftops here using a combination of, of burnt sienna and a few other colours, just cutting those colours down. The mill itself, I've just changed slightly. I've added a little bit of blue to get that ground slightly cooler. Uh, I want it to stand out a little bit in the middle. Of those buildings and the structure now throwing in a little bit of foliage and uh, you'll notice I've captured a little bit of blue be below so there's a little bit of water and sea line is also drawn in. Now I'll go on to another phase where I'm starting to just get a little bit darker especially on the mill. I want that to stand out but again not too much detail really implying things that's so so important to do that. Um, putting a little bit of a, uh, an indication of a bush over to the left uh, just to help balance the composition. Slightly needed something there. And I'm finishing off uh, just a few little bits and bobs, a few little dark accents, and finally this uh, little tree line behind the buildings there, again in the warm, warm, uh, warm shade of brown. Um, okay, that bit is done. I now want to rub off with an eraser all the pencil lines that I had before. I don't want to see those anymore. It's surprising how the pencil lines actually rub off at the end. So I'm in the final phase now, which is the the nice purple sh uh, shadow glaze, which I really call magic time. And it, it makes such a difference. This, this bit of the painting is where the painting comes alive. Um, as you can see, not putting in too much detail of those, just leaving it. You know, letting the viewer fill in the blanks, as it were, towards the end. And this is where the atmosphere is really captured. Keeping things nice and light, letting the original light show through. So important to do that. And we're just about there. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, could you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and come and join me on frankwatercolors.com and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.